Hey everybody, it's Brandon again. While well, I still have Fido S installed on my Asus L210M laptop, we're gonna test a few more things on it. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at the dual monitor support on Fido S and see how it is. So let's just take a look real quick. So here is the laptop. It's the Asus L210M, like I said, and I just now plugged in a USB cable to this 32 inch 1080p display I have mounted up here on my wall and it worked right away it instantly popped up it uh is not set up in the proper location for my um setup so i'm gonna see if i can edit the display settings and i did this on chrome os flex so i kind of remember how to do it if i find settings let's start typing it all right let's go to my settings and i'll just search for display okay and I want to rearrange it so my screen is kind of up here. And there we go. I can just move stuff from here to there. Seems to work fine. Now I do wonder, since um, this is a TV up there and it has speakers built in, if I can go into the sound settings. And yeah, I can change it to use HDMI for my sound instead of the internal speakers. So that's really good. And let's just uh, let's just try that. Let's go ahead and switch the speakers to the TV, and then I'll go ahead and try a video. One of the uh, videos I recorded for the channel. Well, do uh, let's look at the Thunderbird on Chrome OS Flex video. We'll move it up here. Let's just full screen that thing. It's very quiet. All right, so that works. Stop that. And um, just for fun, let's uh, pull up an Android app. Do I have any Android apps installed on here? I got Minecraft. Let's open up Minecraft. Uh, move it over to the TV. Where'd it go? Oh, no. How did I move it up there? Ah. You guys see what I did? Somehow my window got way off base. So I don't know what's happening. Maybe I should have waited till it loaded. Is this a glitch with multiple monitors or um, with Minecraft or what? I'm gonna quit out of that. I'm gonna try to open it again. Okay, I got it loaded. Let me size it to a respectable size if I can. Does it have to reload when you resize it? Maybe that's a problem. Okay, now can I move it to the TV? No, when I try to move it over there, it glitches. Let's see if that's just a Minecraft problem or if that's gonna happen with all Android. Let me just open the Play Store which is an Android app. And I can resize it, no problem. What happens when I move it over here? It does it too. Interesting. So there might be a problem with Android apps with dual monitors. I'll have to test this on real uh, Chrome OS and see if it kind of does the same thing. Let me try one more Android app. I think VLC is an Android app on this device. Let me see if I move it over here. Same thing. Oh my goodness. Good thing we tested that. Okay, so there is multiple monitor support on Fido OS. It seems to work fine with uh, regular Chrome OS type apps. Like, I just moved the file window over there to test. It works fine. But um, when you try to move Android apps from one screen to the other, it kind of gets weird and glitches out. So that's something to keep in mind. And if anybody from Fido OS watches this, maybe you can look into that. Or it might just be a Chrome OS problem in general. Um, next time I fire up the actual Chromebook, I'll connect it to this monitor and see if it does the same thing. But in general, dual monitors works fine on Fido OS. Just you might start running into problems when you get into the Android apps. I'm glad I tested that. And anyway... If there's anything else you want me to test on Fido S, let me know. I, probably in the next video, I'll test Linux apps out on Fido S. 
So if there's any particular Linux applications you want me to try, let me know too. And until then, thank you for watching and have a good day. Bye now.